Is your voice camera constantly showing up as offline on your voice app? Fret not, we just might know what you need to do in order to get your camera back in action. Make sure to stay till the end of this video as either one of the fixes that I mentioned throughout this video just might work in fixing your voice camera situation. Voice cameras, be it battery powered models, or the ones that require a wired connection requires a steady power supply to stay connected to the internet and work as intended. If your camera is not getting sufficient power to stay active, it will drop the internet connection intermittently, which may be the reason why your wise camera goes offline often. Check the power supply, including the cables and the power outlet, for damage, wear and tear or rust. Replace the damaged accessories with new ones if you find any such issues. In the case of battery powered wise cameras, make sure that the batteries have enough power to sustain the operations of your camera. If you can't get the battery to charge properly, consider replacing the batteries. If it's the power outlet that's at fault, switch the power connection to a new outlet and then power on the camera. While you're at it, try power cycling the camera as well. Unplug the power cable or the batteries and plug it back in after a minute. That should take care of most power related issues with your wise camera. If you're having issues with your network, such as slow speeds, high latency, or faint signal strength, your Wise camera can have trouble connecting to such networks. At times, your Wise app should also push out error code 90 messages to indicate issues connecting with your network. You can check for issues with your internet by connecting your phone to the same network and watching one of our many other videos on Wise. If you have trouble surfing the internet, try power cycling your internet router. Unplug the router from power and plug it back in after a minute. Next, consider switching the network on your Wise camera. Although older Wise cameras only support the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi band, the newer models do come with dual band support. To change the network of your Wise camera, open the Wise app and select the plus sign. Select Add Device and tap on Cameras. Choose your Wise camera from the list of devices. Then follow through with the setup process until you reach the Network Selection tab. Choose a network of your liking and enter the login credentials to complete the setup. For older WISE models like the V1 or the V2 cameras, you may have to delete the camera first from the WISE app and then set it up again from scratch. Keep in mind that WISE cameras do not fare well with enterprise networks, public gateway networks, and networks with WEP encryption. Also, be mindful of the distance between your camera and your internet router. If the signal strength is feeble, reposition the camera or your router closer to each other as much as possible without any obstacles in between. Opting for Wi-Fi extenders or mesh networks can be a great choice here. Next, check for updates for your Wise app and all your cameras. Running your cameras on outdated firmwares can cause a lot of issues. Head over to the application store of your phone and search for the Wise app. Click on the update tile to initiate a firmware update. If you can't find any update icon, the Wise app is already running on the most current firmware version. To update your Wise cameras, head over to the Wise app and tap on the account icon. Select firmware update and select update if you have any pending updates for your camera. The tiles will show up to date if your camera has no pending updates. Restart the device and check if the issues persist. If the steps that I've mentioned so far don't produce any effective results, try resetting your camera to its factory defaults. A factory reset will help clean out any software bugs that might have been the reason behind your wise camera erratically going offline. To reset your wise camera, Locate and press the setup button on the bottom till you hear a beep sound followed by a ready to connect message. Now go to the Wise app on your phone and delete your Wise camera from the system. Then add the camera back again by following through with the scanning process to get your Wise camera back in action. And that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about in this video regarding your Wise cameras going offline. If you found this video useful, do comment your thoughts below give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more wise content like this.